All right, now a day after North Korea fired two unidentified projectiles, its official news agency has now released pictures of Kim Jong-un watching the missile test. The North Korean leader oversaw the test firing of the new weapons. The projectiles were fired from near the city of Tongchon into the East Sea, which is also known as the Sea of Japan. Remember, this in fact is the sixth such launch in less than a span of a month. Meanwhile, the South Korean Joint Chiefs of Staff have said the country was monitoring the situation for additional launches. And also the Japanese Prime Minister has said that at this point of time, he does not see any imminent threat to the country's security. Notably, the latest launch, of course, took place just hours after Pyongyang had vowed that inter-Korean talks were pretty much all but over. It also said that North Korea had nothing more to discuss with South Korea. It also went on to blame South Korea entirely for the deadlock in talks. North Korea issued the statement in response to a speech by the South Korean President Moon Jae-in in which he said that the momentum for dialogue remains unshaken despite the series of missile tests. Meanwhile, the protests in Hong Kong do not appear to be petering out at all. Now, over a thousand Hong Kong school teachers braved thunderstorms and adverse weather conditions to start yet another weekend of anti-government demonstrations. Now, the teachers said that they want to show their support for the protesters, many of whom are students. After gathering in the Central Business District, the march towards government offices chanting, Hong Kong police know the law, you are breaking the law. Now, the protesters are demanding for the resignation of the Hong Kong chief executive Carrie Lam. They also want that democratic elections should be held. And besides this, they also want an independent investigation into the excessive use of force by the police. This teacher uh, is also a citizen. They are very concerned about the development of the whole world campaign. And uh, we have another role. We want to protect our students, our youngsters. So teachers are willing to come out and speak for the uh, youngsters and also stand by them so that they are not alone. But things could in fact spiral out of control if China decides to send in troops to clamp down on protesters and also given several indications that this is of course a strong possibility. The thousands of Chinese military personnel were seen parading at a sports stadium in a city across the border from Hong Kong. The armored vehicles were also seen inside of the stadium in the city of Shenzhen which is located right across the Hong Kong harbour near the border.